Well, you missed the entire 2015 finals campaign. No doubt raring to go on Saturday night, mate. Yeah, it's been a um, long time coming for me. I suppose the injury last year was really deflating, but to play and get in the finals this year, it's uh, been a long year again, but to be a part of it, um, it's fantastic. And you know, now we're in it and we can you know, get to work, so looking forward to it. Played 18 games this year, mate. Obviously, you're really happy to be getting some consistent footy under your belt and playing some good footy going into finals. Yeah, it was always a case of getting the body right and the Achilles and you know, responded really well from a couple of things we did over the break and um, you know the, the guys have been fantastic and look after my body this year and yeah, just happy to, to play my part this year and you know hopefully this this week or this Saturday night I can play it again. What are you expecting on Saturday night, Wellsy? Uh, we're probably going to go in as underdog but I imagine the boys have got a lot of faith that we can get the job done like we have the last couple of seasons. Yeah, that's right. We've been uh, been in this position a couple of times now and um, last two years have been good but you know that, that was we can probably take a bit of confidence out of that but really we've got to go into this game with our, our structures and the way we want to play and we understand they're a pretty dangerous side so done a bit of homework on them and make sure we get a good week of training under our belt and um, yeah, it's going to be a hostile, hostile crowd as we already know in Adelaide but finals is probably, probably going to go up another level. There's going to be 50,000 South Australians there. Uh, does that intimidate the boys at all? Does it lift you to another level? No, it it's, makes it exciting, I suppose. You know, they're going to be um, a huge factor as far as if, if we sort of want them to be. You know, um, we just got to make sure we get over there. And, you know, we played in big finals before, big crowds, so the boys are used to it and, you know, it uh, adds to the atmosphere. Talk about the Crows midfield, mate. They've got Sloan, who's coming back this week. He's really vital for them. Crouch brothers, Douglas, they've got a really strong midfield. It's going to be tough for our boys. Oh, no doubt. He's, uh, th those players are fantastic players. And don't forget Thompson as well. These guys are, you know, obviously he's All-Australian uh, vice-captain. He's had a great year and, you know, he's come back from his suspension and, you know, he's going to be raring to go. But they've got good players throughout the whole team. So we're going to have to just watch, the, you know, pretty much all of them. But, you know, keep a cl uh, close eye on, on Sloan and those guys. What is the build-up like? Are the boys pumped? Are they ready to go? Yeah, it's our first session today. I thought we um, trained pretty well. Um, good excitement around the group and you know the whole team. You know, not just the guys that actually play on the weekend or represent the club, but it's everyone, the younger ones, who can really lift the older boys up. And um, you never know, it might be your turn this week. There's obviously been a couple of tough weeks for a few of those senior guys. Uh, how much do you guys want to perform for those blokes? Potential that um, every week can be their last, and you guys obviously want to get them another week. Oh, definitely. They've been an unbelievable part of our history, and um, we want to perform for them and, and the whole club and all our members. So, you know, they're they're feeling like they just want to play their part too. You know, that's the kind of blokes they are, just full of class and, you know, they will make sure they can, you know, pull their weight just as much as anyone. But, you know, they're all great players. Uh, we just, you know, feel privileged to play with these kind of players and Brent and, and Dow and Spud and Drew. So, yeah. Just tell us about your eye there. It looks a little bit nasty, mate. Yeah, last Friday, uh, the last session before we had the weekend off, uh, Braden Proust, a uh, bit of a head clash and, you know, he split my eyebrow pretty much clean open and he's got the smallest little scratch. So he's just a, he's a big bully, I reckon, yeah. All the best for the weekend, mate. Cheers. Thanks, guys.